<laughs> they go together. Na, 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 I'm a sucker for all the subliminal things that you do to me, true love. That's his song. Good morning, y'all. Um, I am really trying to pull this article um out, <laughs> you know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but you know, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all. Let me just say first and foremost, happy Sunday um, to each and every one of you. For those of y'all who are going through issues with um, your loved ones, your family members, or if there's somebody that is in the midst of a coronavirus um, epidemic, because I see y'all know now that this is for real, pandemic rather. It, the COVID is real. I want to continue to remind people to stay safe, do the best you can uh, so we can make it through this reset, especially those of us who are, um, are anxious to see what comes out on the other side of this, right? But what I really wanted to say is, is to get a peace of mind because I was talking to some uh, people on yesterday. And again, uh, a lot of people are having anxiety every day, all day, because of our current president. And I think it's real. I think it's nothing to, you know, you know, scully at or ha 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 ha, you're not strong, any of those things. That's why, in my opinion, um, you should do everything you can to get them out. You know, I know some people are saying, don't vote, don't vote, or, you know, and if you do vote, vote one particular way. Um, if this wasn't as important as I maybe even as once thought, I do believe now that um it is imperative yes th donald trump is not the first blatant racist that has been in the white house you don't have to repeat that over and over and over and over and over again but there are some of us that do not want our children traumatized the way we were traumatized and the way you've been traumatized but you have found a way to continue with the madness to hold on because you just as stubborn um as he is to so for me it's like at some point you have to be in a position where you're going to say okay we're going to get this man out of here no matter what and then we're going to start from where we need to start from that's for those of y'all who believe in politics me personally i can't trust no political system you know I, the only thing i trust is god and where he order my steps um, things are going to fall down around me. Things are going to fall down, uh, um, you know, uh, with me standing on. But at some point, you get to the point in your life where you just have to be still and know. But what I will say, as a watch person on the tower, I really think it's very important that you realize that um, Donald Trump needs to go for more than one reason. If you could just look at the fact that everything that we're doing right now is because of laws, you know, and I think I heard somebody say this as well. Uh, everything that we, we've gotten, because from slavery to now, everything that's happened to us, everything has become because of laws, right? That's why they always say, we are a country of laws. Right now, we don't have enough to defeat this devil, this demon. So our only choice is to leave, which does not seem like a bad idea from where I stand, because we we cannot get along with her. She is um, corrupt, uh, and the engine that fuels her is us. So I have no problem with black 
bodies leaving America. That is something I do not have a problem with. But for those of us and those, you know, black people, when I say us, that want to stay, you have to do stuff that's at least into your, in your best interest. I'm not going to say all or not. You, you, you know, to, and so what that means is you have to speak to white supremacy unhypocritically, not like the guy in Kentucky. Um, people like him and Candace Owens and those type, you know, you can't have a foundation with those kind of people, you know, at the helm. So you do the math. And if you think it's too many of those in America, then <laughs> you got to get away. <laughs> because if you have any more than five people that think like Candace Owens and those type, in which we know we do. So it's almost like I answered my own uh, comment. But anyway, what I'm saying is, you guys, we really have to... Uh, think that everything that we have accomplished in this society so far has only been through laws. Laws that allowed us to vote. Laws that allowed the, the, the colored fountains to be taken down. Laws for reconstruction. Laws for the uh, penal code, the black code. Laws for this. Laws for that law. So, if it's, it can possibly be laws that put us back into slavery. That's all I'm trying to make it real to sound like. It is laws that are going to put us back because this uh, corrupt um, elite system has nowhere to go. And so it just got to repeat itself. And unless you, we solidly keep the movement going and keeping our foot on, they, on their necks the way they kept theirs on George Floyd's, there is no way in the world you're going to survive because we have no wealth. They stole it all. We have nothing. Our families are broken. Um, you have people now that don't even respect um, institutions. It used to be a time where we respected marriage. We, we respected things that, and even if I personally said, okay, marriage is not something I um, uh, 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 aspire to. We weren't the kind of people that would go around and making babies all over the place and not taking care of them and allowing the streets to raise them or for them to go traveling to through society like tumbleweeds that's no different than what we did on the plantation no different none at all so i'm saying that to say we already a quarter of a way we stepped away from the plantation but some of the behavior is still the same so it's going to be real easy to enslave the laws are just uh, slickly changing slickly changing and those laws will put us right back into bondage if we don't do something. And it's not enough of us to overthrow anything <laughs> here, right? So we have to be realistic in our approach to how we have to deal with this devil. We really do. The demonic forces that rule America. And um, if we're not, I know this video is not going to get, um, can't be monetized. So um, I have to be real careful in what I say. I don't know, half my videos don't even come up anymore, but I'm saying that to say, I don't mean to be, um, you know, trying to stick it to somebody. What I mean to do is to just tell the truth from my perspective. And I think that there are some powers that be that don't, that want to suppress that, just like the vote. And um, it's the same story. I'm just here to tell the people that it's done happened before. That's all. Don't get all up in arms. You, we survived uh, Woodrow Wilson. You know, we survived Hoover. So Donald Trump is cut from that cloth, right? And um, America is going to survive them. Because all through time, there have been people that could see beyond what was presented to them with their physical eye. All through nature, there has been people, white or black, who have um, empathized and saw and knew what was happening was wrong. And so that's what hope looked like. And that's what I hang on to. So at the end of the day, 
take care of yourself, love yourself, um, trying to even let your family members stress you out too much. Uh, go forth, stay prayerful. And I just wanted to keep that shout out. I love you all. And I just want to make sure I said that to y'all this morning. But I'm going to be, be back with another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.